Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Wagner. Now a lot of people feel like it's time to move away from cryptocurrency or time to move away from stocks. But don't fear, as I think that's not the best thing to do right now. And I'm going to explain why that is. We are going to look at some numbers from hedge funds, a few charts that I will be sharing with you. And I would highly recommend that you stick to the very end of the video because I will also be sharing the best way to invest right now while looking at some of the best cryptocurrencies to buy right now. So this is going to be very action packed. And as always, if you enjoy this type of content, then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Now, whether we've had a lot of volatility in the market, so far we've had millions of dollars in total liquidations for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. We have Bitcoin at 40,000, Ethereum at 3,000, Binance going at $450, Solana at 136, and Cardano at $1.15. And if you're like me and are invested into these cryptos, then you're probably trying not to panic. But I think right now it's important to look at the bigger picture and the bigger trend that is happening right now. We also have a ton of banks jumping into crypto. We have Goldman Sachs getting involved in cryptocurrency. We have a digital banking platform, CSI, allowing customers to buy sell and hold Bitcoin. And crypto has been starting to have a lot more exposure overseas. And we hear about new banks getting into crypto every other day because they're starting to realize that it could soon be too late for them to adapt and could be left behind. And I think we all know what happens when a company fails to innovate and adapt to a new trend. Also, in my opinion, this could be some of the best time to buy crypto. All these metrics that I'm about to show you guys, all these charts that I'm about to show you, could mean that it's a great time to buy. For example, we have the fear and greed index. Right now, it's showing that we are still in extreme fear or some fear. And we have seen a lot of fear in the market recently. But does that mean that the market is going to bounce? Well, no, but it does mean that it's a great time to buy. And the last time we had seen those levels, a huge rally usually followed afterwards. The other few times we have seen such high fear were in 2018, the COVID crash, and summer of 2021. And just very recently, the fear and greed index had 10, which was some of the lowest fear we've had ever seen. Now, besides the fear and greed index, the RSI has only been this low two other times in the last two years, during the COVID crash and the summer crash of 2021. And now we are back at the same RSI, which could potentially signal the bottom for Bitcoin. Now, although we could potentially go a little lower or sideways for a while, this could potentially be a great buying indicator for many of us out there. And then one more thing to look at is the amount of Bitcoin in exchanges right now, because it's the lowest we have ever seen in three years. Bitcoins and Ethereum's exchange supplies are showing that the previous two years have been the fastest in terms of the coins leaving exchanges. And currently there is 25% less Bitcoin supply on exchanges compared to two years ago. And there's also 47% less Ethereum than two years ago. And with all of this happening, we still have some major institutions in Wales buying up Bitcoin. We have legacy investor Bill Miller allocating 50% of his portfolio in Bitcoin, saying he bought a fair amount last year when it dipped to $30,000. And when he was asked as to why Bitcoin is such a valuable asset, he said it was because it cannot be touched by the government. If you have it, the government can't take it away from you. He also stated that Bitcoin is better than gold. Sorry, Peter, with the only difference that the government cannot take it away from you. And he also made a great point when he said that in 5,000 years, gold has gone from a nickel to $1,800. And in 10 years, Bitcoin has gone from a nickel to $57,000. And as you can see here, we also have companies like MicroStrategies buying the dip for the entire year of 2021 and El Salvador also buying the dip for the entirety of 2021. But I do have to admit that almost every one of us was wrong about what was going to happen in 2021 in terms of Bitcoin's price and other cryptocurrencies. I thought Bitcoin was going to end the year at $100,000, but that obviously did not happen. And we actually ended up going sideways for the entirety of 2021. But 2022 could be a little different as we have now come to the conclusion that we are going through a lengthened cycle. And in fact, if we have even more adoption coming in for Bitcoin, then we could see those numbers from last year play out. And with all of that, you still have to keep in mind that there are more institutions buying Bitcoin and all of those different assets. I think it's important to remember that banks are going to start pushing Bitcoin to a lot of their clients and we could see more countries start to adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender. As El Salvador's president has predicted that we could see two more countries adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. In 2022, he also predicts a $100,000 Bitcoin. So now it's time to go over the second favorite and that's Ethereum. Also, I would really appreciate it if I could get some feedback on the channel. So I've made a Google form sheet and don't worry, there's no email or name required. 
just pure feedback and this is going to help me make better content for you guys. The form is pinned in the comments and description down below. Now, so far Ethereum has burned over 1.4 million ETH, which makes for about 4.5 billion dollars worth of Ether burned. And we are also expecting the merge to Ethereum 2.0 to happen sometime in June. And this is why I believe it's important to keep a long-term perspective on any asset because if you had bought $100 worth of Ether in 2015, that investment would have been worth around $320,000 today. And over the past two years, while well, Ethereum's price boomed 2200% and Bitcoin's price gave a return of 431%. And we could see more gains from Ethereum this year because of two things, the expansion of the metaverse, which is still in very early stages, as we have seen massive adoption from companies like Facebook and Microsoft trying to get a piece of it. Second, we're finally getting Ethereum 2.0, which changes its mining process from proof of work, which is energy intensive, to a proof of stake model. And that change is going to reduce Ethereum energy consumption by about 99% and make it a much more green friendly alternative to some of the coins out there. But unlike Cardano, which has been a proof of stake protocol since its launch, we also have many new projects launching on the Cardano blockchain. Sunday Swap, a decentralized exchange system for the Cardano network, is one of the many new technologies ready to be implemented on the blockchain. Now, not only are we going to see these projects launch on the network this year, but they will also generate headlines and buzz around the network. Also, massive amounts of ADA are gonna be tied up into these protocols, resulting in a lot of greater value demand for the project. And everyone is gonna have more of a use case to deploy in the blockchain for lending protocols, providing liquidity, and all of the other things that all the other networks have, such as Ethereum or Solana. And what I believe is going to happen with Cardano in the next few weeks is that billions of ADA that have not been logged will be locked in protocols and used as liquidity on Sunday Swap and other platforms. And once the mainnet is ready for launch, we're gonna be seeing Sunday Swap launching there as well. So during the next few months, I expect Cardano to make a significant statement that full DeFi support is on the way along with a specific date when it's going to be available, resulting in another massive bull run in ADA's price. And many people still have no idea that DeFi is just around the corner and whether it takes two months, three months, or four months, it's gonna be a huge impact on the blockchain. But the point here is that when the DeFi backend is complete, it's going to make the Cardano blockchain 100 times more valuable because it's going to result in the locking up of billions of dollars in ADA. And as we can see here, pretty much every other layer one currently has a significant edge for the time being because it has billions of dollars locked up in various protocols. But I don't think we're gonna have to wait for any DeFi to be locked up for this next one for its price to move because as we have all known for some time now, Elon Musk has been saying for some time that Tesla has plans to start accepting Dogecoin as payments pretty soon. And just recently, there was a Dogecoin source code found on Tesla's website. But this could currently be a test before finally announcing that Tesla will be accepting Dogecoin as payments. Still though, long-term adoption by companies like Tesla is only the start. We're also going to start to see AMC start to accept Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and Ethereum as payments. So mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies by companies is inevitable. So then how can we invest to beat the market? And what are some of the best altcoins to buy right now? Well, you will never go wrong with Bitcoin. It's the one that is being more widely adopted and more talked about in the media. I have also been dollar cost averaging into Cardano and CRV, Curve Finance, and also Luna. As I believe that we are going to see more really great price movements in the following months. Apart from that, Polygonmatic has been showing huge adoption in the market and I don't believe we have seen the price movements that we have been waiting to see yet. Now for Bitcoin, I still do believe that we are going to see all time highs and we could potentially see two other South American countries following the path of adoption. It's gonna be gradually, but then suddenly like a domino effect. But I also think that it's important to realize that holding any asset long-term is better than day trading or speculating. I think it's very important to recognize that the market is not going to go anywhere and we've come a long way. So there's a lot to look forward to even if we don't see it on the price, as there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin mined. And in the future, it's something that billionaires and millionaires are gonna be fighting over and already have been fighting over to some degree. So never lose sight of the bigger picture as this space will grow dramatically. So what have you been buying to start of the year? Is it Bitcoin, Ethereum, or some other cryptocurrency? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, do not forget to follow me on my social media pages and subscribe for more content. Until next time.